Welcome. In front of me I have a Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and today I'll show you the usability of the Samsung DeX. So there is a possibility that maybe you have found it uh, in your notification panel which is right over here, DeX, and you can, oh, not really sure what it exactly does. So I'm going to showcase this and also tell you what you need to get this to work. So you will need a monitor, that's why this is kind of the primary part of the frame here monitor and that monitor either needs to have a usb type c plug then you can utilize the cable that comes with the device so uh, it comes with a type c to type c so both ends are the same or you would need to get a something like an hdmi or display port to type c usb uh, i do have a monitor that has both ends type c so that's what i'm going to be using for this and basically let's just take it off here and Simply plug it in, give it a moment and it automatically turns on. Now if it doesn't actually do anything at the very beginning, uh, there is a chance that it will show you just a home screen on your phone itself. Then you'll just need to go into your notification panel and toggle it on right here. And this will turn on the decks. Now I also have a mouse here that I didn't actually connect, as you can see right over here. Um, so I'm going to go into the Bluetooth. Uh, I already connected a keyboard. So let me quickly try to connect that. Hopefully it won't be much of a hassle. So this is usable without any mouse and keyboard. Uh, I just kind of find it pointless though. If you're planning to use this without any mouse and keyboard, it defeats the purpose of uh, basically a desktop because that's virtually what it is. Uh, on your phone itself, as you can see, I still can use just a typical well, phone itself. If I, for instance, decided to substitute the phone, uh, and just not include the mouse because it doesn't actually want to connect, which I think I might do. In the notifications, you will see that because you're connected to the text, you have the option to change your or phone basically into a touchpad and when I do that let me place it on the table when I do that you can see that I can now start using the phone itself as a touchpad and apart from that I do have a keyboard right here so I can open up apps from here and almost use this as a um, as a desktop almost and it doesn't really um, it still kind of functions like an Android uh, uses all the apps that you have on your phone itself and also some apps will not work um, but apart from that you still can normally use basically majority of the device you can download apps that will work maybe better for you uh, in this mode um, and the phone itself functions more like an actual touchpad so if you want to scroll down you use two fingers same as you would do on basically any kind of modern laptops nowadays um, and apart from that there is three finger swipe up to open up basically like this uh, overview of everything that is open swipe down to close everything swipe up to reopen it uh, and that's about all you get from the shortcuts here um, and if we go into our app tray right here, you'll see that we have all the apps right here. We can launch Chrome, go to full screen as you can see, and simply start doing whatever we want. So as you can see, I guess I'm not connected to Wi-Fi, so I need searching for nothing here. Let's quickly change that, which I should be connected. I'm kind of looking at this on the phone itself, even though I could be doing this actually right over here somewhere. There we go. So we have the Wi-Fi and I am supposedly connected. There we go. So as you can see, it works just fine. Uh, you can search for anything that you want and it will function almost like a desktop. You can switch between apps open this up as you can see I also tried some games before 
although those are questionable in terms of how they work. Um, if you were using a controller as an example, this would probably work way better because you can basically put this in full screen or, well, maybe not this way. Let's try that again. Yeah, there we go. So you can see it goes into full screen. Um, but like I said, because right now we're kind of using a mouse and keyboard, it will try to use touchpad, or not touchpad, I mean um, your device's screen, uh, even though there's not really anything plugged into it. So you're using on the majority of your display a touchpad, and that's kind of what you have on the screen right here. So you would either need to use a controller for this or try to remap things to work better with the um, with uh, oh, my keyboard I was assuming because as you can see me pressing anything on the keyboard doesn't actually move me forward I genuinely have to go into this hold my finger get selected and as you can see then I can move it kind of defeats the purpose of this so yeah now any kind of game that I assume would, would benefit from uh, a keyboard, if you can remap it, will work just fine. And any game that can actually support, for instance, uh, a gamepad will also work amazingly. Uh, but I don't actually have a pad for my controller, which is kind of stupid right now, but uh, it would normally work. Now to quit this, let's actually, there we go. So we can switch from this and close it like so. And there we go. So as you can see, it functions virtually like a normal desktop and gives you usability. And the benefit of it is you don't have to actually carry any kind of laptop or anything. It's just a device in your pocket, which is still fully functional as a phone itself if you want to, even though it's pl plugged in and showing me something else on the screen, uh, screen right here. So let me close this. And as you can see, I can normally use the phone itself without any problem. And what I see right here, is completely different than what I see right here. And uh, they're almost functioning as two different devices. So it's really nice. And overall, my experience is actually better than I expected. I have tested this for the first time uh, yesterday and I was actually surprised by how well it works. And benefit of it is you have everything on your device. Uh, so all the media, maybe uh, photos, anything can be accessed simply uh, on here or wherever you plug your phone into. The downside though of this is you do need to have either a cable for it or any kind of monitor that supports Type-C port, which personally uh, at work where I am, uh, this is the only monitor in the entire place that did have that. Uh, any kind of other ones that we have are just typical old monitors that do not support it. And you will basically need to buy a new monitor majority of the times for something like this assuming by sheer luck you didn't have one at home or somewhere and laying around. So yeah, um, just as a I guess, conclusion of this, it's a fairly handy tool, uh, especially if you don't want to carry around your uh, laptop. It basically turns any kind of monitor into a well, desktop experience almost. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and well, thanks for watching.